Hello everyone, welcome to this week's quick tip and today we're going to do fuzzy matching. What is fuzzy matching? So in fuzzy matches you might have strings of two different columns, maybe they're in the same data table, maybe they're in different data tables, but you have two sets of strings and they may not exactly match but they should match. Maybe uh, they were entered in manually by different people and one person used abbreviations and the other person didn't or maybe there's typos in there and this is preventing you from doing joins this is preventing you doing cleanup on your data set so fuzzy matching can really help with that so the best way to explain this is to show it to you so I've already implemented fuzzy matching I'm going to show you the results first and then I'm going to show you how to implement it so here uh, what we have are two hospital data sets. Uh, these are hospitals in Boston, and you can see that I have um, VA hospital with a capital VA. I have a lowercase a there. Um, I have New England Medical Center, uh, New England Baptist Hospital. Um, this Dana-Farber uh, has a lowercase f. Here, I have um, capital VA for VA. Um, I have Mass General for Massachusetts General. Um, I have a capital F in the Dana Farmer, um, uh, Dana, Dana Farber Cancer Institute. So these are similar, but they're not exact and it can be a real big pain to clean this up. So what fuzzy matching does is it takes a comparison of all the strings that from one column to all the strings in another column and gives you a score on how close they are together. So here where we have the rank of a hundred, these are perfect matches. Arbor Hospital matches Arbor Hospital. Kindred Hospital matches Kindred Hospital. But then we get down to nine, the score 96 and we can see that these are close, but they're not similar or they're not, the, they're not exact. So they're similar here. You have a lowercase and and you have a capital uh, case and over there. So they are the same hospital. It's just someone capitalized the and. That Dana Farmer uh, Cancer Institute, that came up here as well. 96 score. Uh, uh, Shriners Burns Institute didn't have the apostrophe in this one, but it did in this one. Um, and then we can go down even farther. We can see on 82, we have Mass General recognized as Massachusetts General Hospital. Now, there are some bad matches as well. So here we can see this East Campus with the hyphen and lowercase m matches the East Campus here with the uh, out the um, hyphen and with a abbreviated CAM for campus and a capital M. But when we go down to 86, the score of 86, we can see it mixed up East Campus and West Campus. So we don't actually want to join those together. Furthermore, when we go down to scores of like 77, it found Arbor Hospital and VA Hospital those aren't good matches at all. So what I've done is I've actually plotted these on a heat map with key one and key two in the matches here. This is an easy way to see which ones match well and which ones are way off. So this one that matches well, you can see New England Baptist Hospital, perfect match there, score of 100. If I go down here, Kearney Hospital and VA Hospital, bad match, 71. So what I wanna do is delete the ones that are bad matches um, from here. So I'm going to take some of these um, that are bad matches. I'm going to just look through this. Franciscan is a good one, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to right click these and I'm going to go to marked rows and delete. I'm going to delete the marked rows. Children's Hospital Boston is good with Children's Hospital there. Um, everything else is looking pretty good to me, so I'm going to keep these for the matches. Now I can use this this result, which is a fuzzy string match. Um, this comes out of my data function. I can use this as a key between my two tables. So I go to hospitals one, I can add uh, my first uh, columns. This is to this uh, hospitals table. I can go, I grab my fuzzy match table and I'm gonna grab my match as key one and then my match's name. And you can see that now I have the second table's fuzzy match right next to the first table's name. And I can bring in the score if I want. I'm going to turn off the score. So now I have this key one and I have key two. I'm going to hit OK here. And now I just do one more join. So that's my, my uh, joining table. I'm going to add a column here and I'm going to grab uh, my hospital locations, which is my second table. 
and my settings for add columns, I'm going to use my match of the name of this, um, or sorry, the key to of this left table. And that's gonna to match to the name of the right table of my second data set. So now we have a perfect match across those data sets and I can bring in new data such as the neighborhood, X coordinate, Y coordinate, location, address. I can bring that in and I hit okay and I hit okay. And what we're seeing here is that second table joined with the first table with as many close matches as I could find with the fuzzy match system. Now, what you can also do, let me go ahead and just delete this, um, this, this example. What you can also do is you can lower the score because I didn't get matches for VA, for instance. So you can lower the score and you can go through some more of these if you want. You can use a heat map to uh, edit these if you want, or you can just use this, export it to Excel, enter in the uh, extra values that you want that it didn't match, and you can do a few manually if you'd like. But this gets you really close, as you can see. Um, so how do you implement the fuzzy match? It's really quite simple. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go uh, to our data function library on the TIPCO exchange. I'm gonna put a link for that in the video description. And you can scroll down and you can get the fuzzy match data function um, that's written in Python and download it to your desktop. And you get an SFD file and there you drag that SFD file in and uh, that will give you the fuzzy match data function. Now I've already done that, I've put it in my library so I can find the items in my library. I can search for fuzzy match. Here's that fuzzy match. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pin it to my FX. And now I have it in my FX flyout when I search fuzzy match. And all I need to do is put in my first input column, uh, my hospital's data set. I'm gonna use the name column. And my second input column, now the second input column could be from the same data set if you want it to be. Uh, but in this case, I have two different data sets. And this is the name column from my second hospital table. And I have an optional parameter. I, the fuzzy matches will work by default to scores above 75, but um, if you want, you can kind of play with this. You can make it a document property, or that's a slider, uh, or you can put in some other value if you want, like 50, oops, not 500, 50. It's gotta be between zero and 100, and it's gotta be an integer value. Um, so I'm gonna hit 50, and then I can hit okay, and this is gonna give me a new fuzzy match table. Um, so I can view this fuzzy match table in my data function output. And this gave me all the scores and everything from 50 up to 100 on my matches. So really easy to implement and um, can be very useful in data cleanup and data wrangling. So hopefully you find some use from this. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to keep getting good quick tips. Uh, we're putting more and more out. Uh, as the weeks go on and uh, if you have suggestions for other videos or there's other things you need help with go ahead and email us at drspotfire at tipco.com always looking for new inspiration thanks for joining this week and we will catch you next time mm -hmm.